and welcome back to the end of year special. I sit in front of where it all started. First time I showed my face on YouTube. I was probably sat uh, over there, sort of ish. Uh, my bed was here. I had a whiteboard up behind me. Uh, and a lot's changed. I don't record in this room anymore, but I decided where better to record my review of the year. Or more to the point, my awards ceremony, because we will be going through some of the greatest moments, goals, and other random stuff. Players, that's that's one, players of the year. And uh, we'll actually start off with the goal of the year. Here are the nominations. John Daddy Bavarsen versus Birmingham, Royals Redemption. Modu Barrow, Royals Redemption. Two minutes left. Chris Gunter standing over a free kick. Oh! <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, Chris Gunter! <laughs> Chrissy Gunter, baby! Chrissy Gunter, oh! On his weaker left foot. Oh, you beautiful Welsh human being. Memphis Depay. The Co-op Series. He kind of lost control a bit a bit. Jaden Sancho. Great piece of play. Volley is in! Oh, what a goal! Jaden Sancho! From incredible goals to incredible misses, here we have some of the biggest misses for me and other people on my channel in 2018, or as I like to call it, the Co op series. Go on. Header! <laughs> Away. Go on, Ben. Oh, no! Oh, no! <gasps> it's alright. <gasps> Not alright. Bury that! Oh, my God! Out to Alan. <gasps> that was... That was I, I, I made this kind of that one. Oh! Up front. The break is definitely on. Oh my god. Oh, no. It's even worse from behind. Now for our moment of the year. Something that has brought joy to myself and has just been an incredible achievement uh, in Football Manager or FIFA. Here's a short list. Ake with a free kick. Into Kelly. Liam Kelly, ball to Sessegnon. Ryan Sessegnon, ball into the box. Lafondra beats it. Lafondra scores! Four minutes from time, Adam Lafondra scores the goal that might just win the Champions League for Oxford City. Oh my word. Jimenez, not long left. There's the whistle. The full-time whistle goes. It is the Champions League for Oxford City. John Daddy's solo performance in the finale of the co-op. He's got 78 finish. World Cup victory in the finale of the league swap. Molino. Go on. Go on. Diego. Yes! Come on. Yes. Meta Loglobus' unexpected promotion through the playoffs. Brad Bogers! 
Yes, 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 yes. Have it, have it, have it. Make it two. Make it two. Right! Yes! We... Come on. Oh, I slipped there. We're going up, surely. Sane. Yes! Borza! You know, your team was rubbish at the start of the year. You... Go on, Borza. Yes! Brad Boogers! <laughs> yes! Oh, I love you! I love you, Metalogloverse! Yes! And scores! Jaden Sancho! It's the young Englishman signed in the first season. Sancho! Vinicius Junior! Ready to Romanel! It's still Jaden Sancho. Up! Oh, scores! Reading free! AS Romanel! So easy. So easy. Liam Moore lifts the trophy aloft. Now it's time for the most costly part of any YouTuber's year, or at least any football YouTuber's year, and that is FIFA. And FIFA packs, to be more precise. This is the pack of the year. More a Pele than all of those players. Doesn't mean we're going to get Pele. But, I'm just saying... Maradona! Diego Maradona! Come on! Woohoohoo! Open one with coins. Ah! Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Oh, please be worth it. Oh my god, it's messy. We have our Premier League guaranteed team of season player, and this one's pretty good too. Hyun Min Son. Oh my god, look at those stats. I've used them in game and it was alright. Mohamed Salah, oh my god, 98 rated, a more 1.3 million coins, unbelievable! I can't, still can't believe I packed him. Right, skip, no board. Come on, be John. Yes! Now we come to a part in every award show we don't look forward to. Remembering those we have lost, and today we will remember those we have lost from the Ruse DC17 channel. And yes, a moment of silence, please. Now we move on to incredible footballers. We have the team of the year. So we start off with goalkeepers, the best goalkeeper of 2018. Is it Thierry Courtois of the league swap? Was sensational for us, really sensational. Was it Amaral from Royals Redemption, the academy keeper? Was it Anton, again the league swap, consistent? Or was it Pahovsky, academy graduate of the running FC career mode? Next up, we have the right-back position, and the nominations are Trent Alexandra-Arnold, the Bath City League Swap, Chris Gunter, 
The Oxford City League swap, he was world class. Dennis Schmidt, the Oxford City League swap. And last but not least, Andy Yeardon, the Reading FC career mode, consistently brilliant. Next up, we have the centre-back position. Important part of the team, of course. We have Reese Oxford from the league swap. He was fantastic. We have Paul McShane from Raw's Redemption. Scored a brilliant goal against Hull. Martinov from the European Tour. And Alex Bruce. Okay, I was kind of running out of ideas. And he was alright for us in the league swap. And now we have our other centre-back. Uh, another four nominations. Diego Godin from the Reading FC career mode. Came in, was very solid. Roman from the league swap. Young Russian centre-back was godly. Nathan Ake, league swap, was consistently brilliant for a long time. And Liam Moore, various series, he was immense. Now, on to the left-back position in the team. And we have Ryan Sessegnon on the league swap, famous Champions League final assists. Jordan Abita from the, uh, the league swap this year. Omar Richards from Rose Redemption. And finally, George Boyd from this year's league swap. Okay, I haven't had many good left back. So next up, we have our holding midfield position. Some good nominees here. Ibu Sissoko, the Bath City league swap. Sensational box-to-box -box midfielder. Slash the good Atlante. Dorado the Destroyer. You know him. You love him. Uh, Artem from the, uh, from the European Tour. And Ampadu. So good. So good from the Reading FC career. Next up, we have a selection of central midfielders. First up, Callum McNish. So good from the railway men. So good. Next up, Ruben Neves, league swap. Won the Champions League with us, of course. James Milner. Rybina King, as he was known. Brilliant. And Liam Kelly. All for the last three from the league swap. Superb for us. Next up, our other central midfielder. Some good nominees here. Very good nominees here. And Golo Kante, Bath City, League Swap. Bloody incredible. Pablo Gonzalez, League Swap. Legend, legend. Sergei Milinkovic, Savage, League Swap. Another legend, scored in a Champions League final for us. And John Swift, Rose Redemption. Was sick, but not as good as any of the others. Anyway, next up we have our right winger. Jordan Shakiri, Bath City League Swap, always does the business. Bernardo Silva was sick in the League Swap, big part of our team. Gareth McCleary, legend from various, just a legend. And Yancy Ibrahimi, running FC career mode, has been sick, scored a goal in an FA Cup final. Anyway, next up we have our left winger. And the first up, Jaden Sancho, running FC career mode. Again, wonderful. Gabriel Massaseni, South African wonder kid. Modu Barrow, Gambian King, Royal Redemption. And yeah, Danny Loder uh, in the league swap. He was very good. Anyway, finally our strikers. We've got five rather than four. Aaron Woodley, Railway Men. Incredible in many divisions. Brian Boogers, Playoff Hero. Adam LaFondra, 55 goal season, won us the Champions League against all odds. And if we look at the stats, he was consistently prolific. Michel Valaume, God. Lord above. We all love Valaume. 88 goal season. We'll talk more about some of these players later for the player of the year. And then Jan Fiatarp. Goals, 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 goals. So now you can vote who is your team of the season. And the player of the year. And I will read to you the players you can vote for the Ruse DCC. Oh my god. <laughs> Even these I'm messing up. The players you can vote for. The Ruse DC17 player of the year. The nominations are. Modu Barrow. Royals Redemption. The Gambian was a key part of the Reading side that made it all the way to the Premier League, winning both Cups along the way in our mini-series earlier this year. Modu 
Barrow, he did contribute an unholy amount of goals for us in that season. And it is without doubt that he makes it onto this five-man shortlist. Will you get your vote for Player of the Year, though? Michel Vallaume, Oxford City League Swap. Oh, go on. Oh, go on. Oh, go on! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Oh, we're bringing it with surely. Oh, what a start. First 20 minutes, 2 0 up. We just need to hold on, and we've won the Champions League. Oh, God. Don't do this to me, game. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. No confidence. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that Michel Vallaume is the most technically gifted footballer I have ever had the pleasure to have in any of my series. Goals, assists, he get millions. And when I mean millions, 88 goals in all competitions in the final season of the league swap. He's incredible and he deserves this award, no doubt. But will he win it? Jan Fietarb, the Reading FC career mode. Brahimi. Sancho. Up! Scores! Reading lead! Jan Fiat! Up! Come on! Oh. He is known as Mr. Reliable because when you need a go goal, Jan Fiat Up will score one. An unbelievable bargain at 1.75 million for in the first signing of the Reading FC career mode. Absolutely ridiculous, and he has stayed in the team for the first, well, more than 50 episodes, and has been consistently firing in the goals. In my most popular series, will he be my most popular player, and will he win your 2018 Player of the Year award? Something tells me he'll definitely be up there. Callum McNish, the Railway Men. Oh, what is that? Penalty! Oh my god, oh, if you miss this penalty, McNish, you are all, you've done so much good for us, please. Yes, 4-3, 14 goals from central midfield, I'll take, you take that, won't you? Including some good free kicks and some good penalties. If you are a non-league team and you give away a free kick, let me tell you you're in trouble because Callum McNish will step up and bang it in. So many free kicks, so many penalties for the English midfielder playing for the Diddy and he's been so incredible for us over a number of years. Although perhaps, you know, as we go up the divisions, his level may have gone, he is still Callum McNish. Midfield goal scorer extraordinaire. He's pipped some very good players to get on this. Better players than he will ever be. But his impact for the railwaymen and getting us promoted was truly crucial. Will he be your player of the year? Callum McNish. And Adam LaFondra, Oxford City League Swap. Ryan Session, young ball into the box, LaFondra meets it, LaFondra scores! Four minutes from time, Adam LaFondra scores the goal that might just win the Champions League for Oxford City! An absolute fan's favourite, a channel icon, Adam LaFondra, the former Reading striker, is the last player on this list, and my word was he incredible in the first league swap. 55 goals in the 18-19 season to see Oxford City lift the Champions League against all odds. He performed miracles, he's a fan's favourite. Will that be enough to see him win your Player of the Year vote? Those were the nominations for the Player of the Year. Now, of course, it is an opportunity for you to vote for all these awards. I will say, have a very happy new year. 2019 will be a great year. A quick message I need to put at the end of the video. Uh, something I've noticed is all my videos that I've uploaded recently, pre-recorded, have been copyrighted. And uh, because of the intros and the outros, and they've basically, you know, the law's now tougher. Uh, I will be using 
I will have to change the intros, I will have to tr change the outro. I hope you guys enjoy the new ones. Some of them aren't as good as the old ones, some of them are sort of better, that I prefer. But, yeah, the Railway Men, you know, Thomas the Tank Engine, apparently copyright free. So, that'll stay, even though it's the worst intro of all of them. But yeah, the, the, the graphics on the, all the intros will pretty much stay the same. I might add a few things in here and there. But yeah, I just needed to get that across. Uh, thank you for probably the most incredible support this year. I mean, start of the year when I was in this room, uh, in this room filming Royal's Redemption, it was uh, I wasn't in the best place at that point in time. I wasn't happy. I wasn't enjoying my life at that point. And really, doing YouTube has helped massively. I've had a community that I can relate to. I've not been able to get out of the house and do stuff as much as I would have liked. Uh, because of an illness that has besieged me for many a year now. But, yeah, to, to, to be able to have this community that I can upload videos to and, you know, the nice comments, it's... It genuinely, it touches me. It's incredible, and your support is always, always valued. I couldn't be more grateful. Here is to 100 subscribers next year. Uh, that's a dream. You know, we've hit a thousand views on the Reading FC career mode. That is insane, the first episode. That's insane. Like, the first video of mine ever to hit four figures. It's incredible. I hope to keep bringing you content that you enjoy over the next year. And, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for making 2018 a memorable year. It started off the worst, and it continued that way for many months. But it was the league swap. When I started really getting consistent at that, and then going to the Reading FC career mode, my channel sort of having a mini explosion, uh, then all the Football Manager content I've been able to make for you all, that'll continue. In fact, it will double until my birthday uh, on the 15th of January as a sort of thank you. Uh, I know you probably prefer double uploads of the Running FC career mode, but I've got to catch them all up so we end up with sort of the same amount of number. Then maybe we're going to have a holiday in, uh, in October. Uh, I have a new camera, in case you haven't realised. It is a GoPro 4K that I will be able to do more sort of vlogs for. I will not, well, I won't be vlogging running football matches before you ask, no, that's not happening, uh, because A, bloody miserable, isn't it, <laughs> and B, I don't want to be criticised for, you know, as I've already said, monetising the, uh, even though I don't get money from it, monetising the club's failures, uh, you know, and not being a proper fan. I want to live in the moment as a running fan. I love the club, and I want it to stay that way. I want to be a fan, not a, not a customer. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I've got a trip to the Netherlands coming up in February. I'll take you uh, with me and, you know, hopefully we can explore uh, Utrecht. Hopefully go to a football match, uh, try some Dutch football. Then I've already got some plans for next year's football manager. I know I'm going on a bit now, but I've got, I've got to have this opportunity to just talk. Uh, possible trip to Scotland, perhaps, that's been suggested. Uh... Like last year, I intend to vlog the uh, finals day, non-league finals day. Uh, that was incredible last year. I really enjoyed that, and I love non-league football. If you can't already, if you haven't already picked up, I love non-league football to bits. And you know, being able to go to this final, record it, something I enjoy, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Uh, I have a new stick that I can hold up the camera with. Nice grip, comfortable. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. It's been a good Christmas, as you can tell. I've got <coughs> some good stuff. Anyway. Uh, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a fantastic year. Uh, birthday on the 15th, so I'll upload a video then, sort of saying it's my birthday. You can wish me any happy birthday messages there. They'll all be very much appreciated. Uh, I will leave you uh, here and... Again, say thank you. Uh, I've done a lot of pre-recording. I know I'm sort of doing double uploads, so it's not as much pre-recording as it could be, but I'm up to about the 10th of December. So I'm probably going to have New Year sort of off, Have a try and have a chilled New Year, 
Uh, right now I'm dry, drowning in chocolate oranges. I was given ten uh, from various people. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, double figures. Uh, that that's a goal for the next year. Get get rid of the stomach. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic year, 2019. I'm almost sure of it, and I will take you along the way. Hopefully, and upload every single day. And uh, yeah, good news. Uh, ten to ten for Ollie, as I'm going to try and call him by now because I know he hates the name Tanger of Ten. Uh, hopefully he's got FIFA, we'll record like a wa wages or something like that. With Ben, I want to bring the co-op back. Maybe do a pro clubs with both of them. If you want to join that then maybe. But I kind of like the idea of me and my two good friends messing around on pro clubs and just having a laugh. I think that sounds good. And if you want to see that do drop a like so I know. You know and do drop a like anyway because Helps the video uh, grow and go around the internet. Drop a comment saying what was your favourite moment of the year. Uh, what are you looking forward to next year from this channel? Uh, any constructive criticism you want to give me of stuff I can improve? Because I, I'm always looking to make my videos better. Uh, and that's why I'm trying to get rid of all the copyrighted material in my videos. Because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to be getting a copyright strike or anything like that. I just want to, you know, keep going and, you know, enjoy it. Not have to worry about these silly copyright things. But, yeah, once again, it's... I know, I know, I'm saying it over again, but you've made this year incredible for me. I thought it was going to be the worst of my life. It was heading down the route of being the worst until my li year of my life until the summer. And then England's performance at the World Cup, my trip to Sweden, my trip to non-league's finals day... Uh, the Reading FC career mode, the league swap, the FM19 saves, it's just brought me so much joy, and every single one of you has a part to play in that. I'll forever be grateful, because things were going downhill, and now they're going uphill, and hopefully they continue going uphill. Uh, uphill? Uphill. And yeah, I know I've gone on for a while, but thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. It's been a pleasure. 2018, thank you. Personne, m'en prie pour moi. En fait, c'est la guerre, il est en retard, retard. La puissance, gros, c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance, la puissance, gros, c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance.